Welcome to a demo of Windows 8 Consumer Preview, now available for download from Microsoft. In this demo, we're demonstrating the PC with a mouse type interface, and we're using VMware version 8 and x64 Windows 8 with 2 gig of memory. The first thing you see in Windows 8 is the lock screen. In the lower left, there's notification icons for various applications. Now if we roll the mouse wheel, we can go ahead and log in to our Microsoft connected account. That allows you to sync settings, active access SkyDrive, and so forth if you use a Microsoft account. The first thing you see is the start screen with all the tiles, which can be live updated tiles. If you have Facebook people on here, like this icon over here, you would see live updates right on the tile. You can right click and make the tiles smaller or right click and make them larger. You can move them into categories and you can uninstall them. That's a nice feature of Windows 8 just by right clicking and uninstall. Now one of the neat features of Windows 8 is that of the App Store. In the App Store you can take a look at the free apps and in here you're able to install them right from here and if they're a purchased app or an app that you have to buy, you can click try before you buy. Right now there aren't any purchasable apps in the beta period. The other interesting area is that of the Xbox uh, connection that you can connect to your Xbox and control it remotely. For instance, in this situation, it will connect provided you're signed in with the same profile on your Xbox. And once you're in, you can control it with some limitations on the actual controls you can use. You can launch games, uh, Netflix control, and so forth. Kind of interesting if you have a tablet, I suppose, more than a desktop. In the other Xbox Live Games app, you can access your avatar and game information like you would on the Xbox here as well. You can customize it from there and it will show up on the Xbox. Internet Explorer has two versions, strangely. It has the Metro version and it has the Desktop Experience version, both with separate settings, bookmarks, and cookies. Take a look at this version. This is the Metro version. If you right-click, you can open multiple tabs and then switch between them. And we can go to the Desktop. If we open Internet Explorer here, you see the desktop version with its own settings. Now you can open up Windows Explorer and by default now the ribbon is hidden. The ribbon is similar to the one in Microsoft Office. It does have some interesting features where if you're in here and you're drilling in and you want to make some folders favorites you can click on them and go to Easy Access, Add to Favorite. Another interesting addition with Windows 8 is that of mounting ISOs without any additional software. You can double click the file, it mounts it in a drive letter down here in the lower left, and all the files are accessible. And you're presented with all the options that you would normally have to do multiple clicks for in the ribbon on various tabs. Now, file copy has been enhanced, so if we attempt to copy this file, you'll see the window that appears. Lots of details. If we copy another one at the same time, it puts them both in the same window, so you can stop or start the other file transfer if you need to speed things along or cancel it. And Task Manager has been enhanced. By default, you will see this interface. Just the icons appear. Click more details and we now see the processes tab. Loads of information here in color. Performance over the past few hours. App history over the past few days. Your startup area is here. You no longer have to use MS config to get it controlling what's in the startup. You can access user information, other details and services as before. Now the key in Windows 8 is that of the corners. That's how you get around if you're using a mouse. Upper left is for previous app. Drag downward, you have all the previous apps that are open. So you can cycle through and then click. Lower left causes the start screen option to appear. If you click, it'll take you right there. 
Upper right and lower right is for the charms. These are for options for the app you have open or for searching. For instance, if we go to the lower left, we can go back to the start screen by just clicking it. Now, if we start typing, we can get to a search window. We could type calendar. Calendar appears on the left-hand side, provided you type it correctly. Uh, you could change the option to Internet Explorer and get search results there. SkyDrive, of course, is now integrated. They don't have the Windows desktop integration there just yet, but they will. You can access your pictures and files on SkyDrive through the SkyDrive app. You can also send new emails with attachments and it will grab those files right off of SkyDrive or Facebook. Remote Desktop looks like this. Type in the machine name and then you connect and it looks like the traditional remote desktop session. Now to close a Metro app, you have to go to the top, grab on with the left click, and drag all the way down. That closes a Metro app. That's a strange feature at first as well. It gets a little confusing at first too when you're switching between desktop and Metro, especially if you're not used to this. We can go back to the desktop experience again to take a look at a few things. Uh, some of the options, you can still access commands like the run command by hitting Windows key R and then you can access programs like regedit. And also control panel can be accessed here as well. Control panel, just type control and it looks just like it did before. You can also access control panel through the charm in the right hand side through settings and then control panel and the various settings are here as well. If we go back to the start screen and we go to the charm area for settings here, you can drill into more PC settings and see the various options such as personalization for backgrounds. For the start screen, choosing from only six backgrounds or nine background colors. Set your account picture, your users, notifications, search, sharing options, some general options here. There are some privacy options, devices, ease of access, and synchronizing setting options. Windows update in the home group as well. Now, in order to shut down Windows 8, it's a little tricky as of right now. One way you could do it is to go here into the into the desktop experience mode and hit Alt F4. That will bring up the traditional shutdown option. The other option is to go in the start screen and you could just go over to the charm area, go to settings, and then hit power and choose your option. However, if we go back to the start screen here and hit the Windows key I, you can get right at the settings quicker then hit power and shut down. So that's all we have for right now for the Windows 8 demo. Uh, we hope that you will check out our other videos on and subscribe to us and check us out on the web at tech-stew.com and thanks for watching.